Welcome to Agoracom's Small Cap Episode and Agoracom TV, a daily fast pace edgy show. We have the best press release at the small cap space every morning at the open so you can hopefully profit from them, profit from them, and maybe find your next great small cap investments. Wednesday, May the 18th, I'm actually bringing up my quote uh, system right here for these press releases. I got seven press releases for you. First one, help me out here. I don't know if I'm missing something, but this almost sounds too good to be true. Caledonia Mining Corporation, C A L on the TSX. CLVF for our friends in the U.S., CMCL for our friends in the U.K. They put out their first quarter numbers. Gold production increased by 17% to 7,300 ounces. Average ca cash cost per ounce is down 18% to $648. But here are the blowaway numbers. Revenue, $11.22 million. That's more than double. Gross profit, $5.2 million. That's up more than tenfold. Uh, the big one here, net earnings, net income, $1. $1.18 million. Uh, that's up huge compared to a loss of $566,000. That translates into, even on a fully diluted basis, $0.35 cents per share, and yet they're trading at $0.10.5. Cents. So is there something I'm missing? I know they had a profitable $1.1 million fourth quarter. I'm trying to find out what's going on. Their cash flow is there because they increased their cash position by just over a million dollars. Uh, is this too good to be true? I need help from you. I'm going to post it on the Gorecom. Close yesterday at 10 cents, 52 week range, 17 on the high, uh, four and four and a half on the low. I got to do some due diligence. There's something I'm missing. Next up, Fjordland, TSX Venture, FEX, big intersects here, 207.5, 207.5 meters grading one gram per ton of gold, 0.18% copper, including 90 meters grading 1.9 grams gold, 0.29% copper. This is a 60-40 joint venture with Caribou, Roos, uh, Caribou Rose Resources, and it's uh, Goldfield Limited's exploration company. It looks like that's doing the drilling. The project is in south-central British Columbia. Uh, 16 cents was the close yesterday, 24.5 on the high, 8.5 on the low. Fjordland's looking a little stronger, 17.5 cents pre-market, uh, so that may look for some potential action in Fjordland. Next up, our good friends over at Golden Hope uh, Mines, GNH. They've announced drill results from their winter drill campaign, including 1.4 grams over 25 meters and 1.14 grams ton of gold over 22 meters. This is from their Belchasse Gold Belt in southeastern Quebec. Uh, they say these drill results, and there are more. you got to go take a look at those. Provide the company with very important additional technical information indicating, amongst other things, the one I'm going to pick out here, possible significant northeast extension of the T1 zone, which is currently the company's largest mineralized zone and potentially significantly expanding the tonnage of the T1 zone. I think investors are going to like to hear that. Right now, pre-market, uh, Golden Hope is 18-bit, uh, 19.5 ask on a close of 18 cents yesterday. This is a company with a 52-week high of 98 cents, 52-week low of 16 I'm not making a, uh, an investment call here, but you've got to figure risk reward has to be significantly in the favor of buyers at these levels. Uh, next up, Premier Gold Mines, PG, intersected high grade gold at, Red, at the Red Lake Joint Venture. Uh, multiple intercepts include 46.15 grams ton of gold across 4.5 meters. That's huge. Premier Gold Mines closed 599 yesterday, 622 looks like the open market likes the news. Uh, they say it indicates extra potential to find a high-grade gold resources, and the markets are now open, uh, including Caledonia Mining that's up uh, half a cent, 4.7 percent on 30,000 shares, and Fjordland open at 18 cents, up 12.5 uh, uh, percent on 100 uh, on 100,000 shares. Finally, uh, looks like Meritus Minerals (MER) a hit seven meters of 16.44 grams ton. Uh, of gold. This is in the project in Mongolia. Uh, looks like they also have 31 meters, 3.7 grams ton of gold, including 7 meters of 6.06 6 grams ton of gold. Uh, 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 right. And 3 meters, sorry, of 15.67 grams ton of gold. They closed just at 8 cents, 51 on the 52 week high, 7.5 on the low. Uh, this morning, Meritas, no volume right now. Uh, the markets are looking pretty green right now, uh, and that's a wrap. you got seven great stories. We'll call that six great stories. If you look for more great small-cap resource companies who watch this on Globe Investor, then look to the left of me or below me, depending on the page you're watching this on within Globe. Otherwise, if you're not on the front page of Agoracom, get there, watch the show, take a look at the best headlines to my right, and get into our marketplace. 
to discover your next great small cap stock. That's a wrap. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.